Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Super Mario World. Mario. Last time, well, last time we defeated Lemmy o in the Vanilla Dome, and oh my gosh, it was so tough. Got in two game overs, and yeah, speaking of game overs, you're probably thinking yourself, Hey, wait a minute, last time when you ended the previous video, you only had like two lives left and you got like two different game overs. What's going on here? Well, it's simple. I went right back to Yoshi's Island 2 and got in a whole bunch of one-ups. Yeah, that level is fairly easy to get a whole bunch of one-ups. But, and speaking of that castle, that's exactly why this video is running pretty late. Like, this should have been uploaded on what? Tuesday? Monday? Yeah, I really needed a break after that castle, but that does not mean that I did not practice. And because I practiced, well, I found that this area is actually, well, it's short, it's easy. Well, actually, no, the castle that you can already see off in the distance is actually easier than the levels themselves. And the levels themselves aren't too tough. And as you can see, there's actually only two levels between us and the castle, or fortress. Anyways, let's step inside. I should mention that Yoshi is almost completely useless. But what's not useless is this feather. Now, getting the dragon coins in this area is tough. But basically, you want to jump on these platforms to avoid these side blades. And... You know, that's okay. Because chances are I'm going to fall rather than... Chances are I'm going to fall rather than to get hit by an enemy or something. Gotta wait for the saw blade to pass by. This is going to make the other platforms start to catch up. Which might actually be my undoing. No, it wasn't! That's awesome, it wasn't my undoing. And I can still get that goal post by just jumping up there. Now here, if you did bring Yoshi with you, yeah, you would have gotten a winged Yoshi by doing that. At least that's what I think, because I never actually got Yoshi all the way up here. Anyways, you just want to grab up on those ropes and they start to move. I believe this is another flower. Or rather, a feather. Now don't go through that pipe and it takes you practically nowhere it just makes you in go for a loop don't even bother with those ropes either because they don't actually yeah you're better off just walking yeah I just lose my fire flower anyways here's something difficult duck under the saw blades this is a bit of maze and if you do get hit Hold up! Oh, crap. I made a move, boo. I should have hang on. Uh, jump! I actually made it! Usually, it. When I was practicing this, it took me quite a few tries. I'm surprised that I got by with just one try. Anyway, since you did see that it's red, it does take you to a secret, but that is a secret that I really want to save for after we defeat Bowser. You know, make it in post-game. Anyways, Cookie Mountain, and I should mention something. You see that little patch, um, grayed out patch right next to the castle? That's a hint that if you taken a secret path in the Vanilla Dome, you would actually end up on a higher altitude and end up building a new bridge. That new bridge would actually be called, I believe, the Butter Bridge? 
But here we are on the cheese bridge, and now we're on Cookie Mountain. Yeah, as you can tell, a lot of things are named after food. Mondo Moles. Oh, new enemy. I do not know what this is called, but... But as you can tell, that enemy is pretty annoying. You wait for his thunder to go down, wait for the flames to go down, and... Jump underneath him. And now I'm desperate for a mushroom. Please be a mushroom. Actually, I think the mushroom is... Up here. Which it was. Y y you respond. That's not fair, you can't respawn. Oh yeah, every enemy can respond that. Ow! I got attacked by a shellless Koopa. Yes. That's a new low. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna try to respawn that shell. Because I couldn't have gotten a whole bunch of level ups there, but I missed up. Or at least just one. Good thing I found the red switch! Oh! <laughs> I lose a life on this level, but not the previous one. The previous one that's actually harder. At least in my opinion, it's harder. Although that doesn't change the fact that this enemy is... What is wrong with me today? Yeah, it doesn't go do much to be on top of the block. Shell missed you, and I end up being one short of a level up. Oh well. That was cool. What's not cool is this guy. And there's two of them. Yeah, I don't think I ever mentioned it before, but... If you get a goal post and you're a small Mario, you'll become big Mario. So it kind of acts like a mu another mushroom. Yeah, I don't think I actually mentioned that before. Oh cool, found a Yoshi. And I knocked Yoshi off. And at least I got the checkpoint and then now I know Remember that there is a Yoshi there. And piranha plants? No. I don't remember. I never saw a piranha plant there before. Take care of you. I am keep pushing Yoshi off. Oh, also something that I learned. Uh, uh, that That's new. I was going to say that I've learned that if Yoshi eats a certain number of fruit, you would get a mushroom out of it. I didn't think that I'd get a lagitude cloud. Okay, that was completely unexpected, guys. And apparently the cloud hurts me? Can I eat those guys? No, I thought not. Yeah, as you can see, I compare these to the original Hammer Bros. Hello, Chuck. I checked. I didn't... How did I miss the tape? How did I miss the tape? 
Oh well. I'm small, Mario. This is Ludwig's castle. I have to say, at first it seemed tough, but this castle is actually pretty easy. You want to practice your spin jumps and be ready to run in the next room. I have no idea what that enemy is, but if you just spin jump... I've noticed... If you ever notice that it pops out spikes, I've learned by myself that you cannot spin jump on these enemies when their spikes are out. That makes them kind of different. One for it? Nice. And at the end, you got a mushroom, and in here... Just run. Don't worry about the dragon coins. Just make it over here, and hit that switch, and keep on running because the... Because the floor is... Not the floor, the ceiling is falling. Hey, at least I don't lose Yoshi. Unfortunately, there is no midpoint in this area, and I think this is the first castle that has no midpoint. I kind of missed out on the midpoint in the previous one, but that's because, well, I can completely forget trying to find the room in there. Run for it. I have gotten through here once while keeping that mushroom. I can't do that now. Take your time around the potaboos because once you're here, it's pretty much a home stretch so long as the ceiling is pretty high. There we go. And here is the gate, so you know what that means. Wait a minute. I never checked what's down there. There was a midpoint? I did not know there was a midpoint here. I completely ignored it my first few playthroughs. But anyways, what does that matter? Because now... We're on a gate, and you know what gates means. Free one-ups. All you need to do is wait for these Koopas to go by and just step on them. Or climb on... Above them, I guess. There's a dragon going, but of course I'm not going for them anymore. guy to go around. One up. Second one up. Gonna wait for this guy. I think I might get over third one. Yeah. I had no point... I had no idea there was a midpoint there. That could have helped me so much in my practice run, but... Oh well. Anyways, here's the boss, Ludwig. Just run up to him, and as soon as he appears, or... I guess you get close to him, he'll start sprouting fire brawls. He'll then just roll around, kind of like a la... Super Mario Bros. 3. You're supposed to lure him out, I can't believe... Jump over here. Don't run from me. As soon as he lands, jump on him. Throw him this way. I'll try to land on you. Just jump on him again. Yeah. At first I thought that he was pretty tough, but he's not. Wait for him to land. So you can die to him. Well, that doesn't matter. I got the midpoint. And I'm gonna get more level ups than I'm gonna lose anyways. So why should I care? Of course, I don't. I don't care. But yeah, I'm actually surprised because Ludwig really isn't that tough of a boss at all. Ah, that could have been bad.
and I actually have more time um, to defeat Ludwig as well, so really dying to him is more of an advantage. Fireballs, yum! Hey, it's Super Mario World. I might as well make references to the show. Uh, my problem is, is that I keep landing next to him instead of on him. That seems to be my issue. That one was just me being straight up stupid. But if I can make just a couple one ups, then I'll make up for it. Two. Three. I'm getting more one ups than before, so yeah. This is so much easier. And it was all because of a Magikoopa. So much easier than the previous castle. By the way, you can jump on him and he does not hurt. Land on top of him this time. And you won't even have time to breathe fire. Just one more hit. There we go! Ah, uh, I should have done a crouch spin jump. I had no idea there was a midpoint there. I really didn't. Thank you! His castle was a rocket! Hey, Doug. Hey, the hills are sentient. Be nice. Ludwig von Koopa's days of composing Koopa symphonies in Castle Number 4 are over. The forest of illusion lays ahead. Mario and Luigi must now try to solve the puzzle of this perplexing forest. Okay, I wanted to I want to point something out here. As far as I remember from this game, this is the only time they reference the fact that the Koopalings are named after musicians. Not just Ludwig, but pretty much all of them. Obviously, Ludwig is the most obvious. I mean, it's based on Ludwig von Beethoven, and he even looks a lot like Beethoven. But it's just kind of interesting that it only referenced that he's the only one where they just came out and say, yeah, he's based on a musician. And it's interesting because he's one of the few... I think he's the only Koopaline who is... Oh, I love this music. But yeah, I think that Ludwig is the only one of the Koopalings that is based on classic music, as opposed to the others, which I think are mostly... mostly metal and modern or classic rock. But anyways, is this not an iconic piece of music? I actually really do like the song Forest of Illusion. Ah... <sighs> But anyways, that, as you can see, it was the bridge, Butter Bridge, very short. It kind of rewarding to go through the castle in Vanilla Dome than to um, skip a whole bunch of it and have to go through the um, sky levels that are in the um, Butter Bridge. But, or Cheese Bridge. I can't even remember anymore. Well, it's, it's Cookie Mountain, whatever. Anyways, if you like this part, make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to leave behind a comment, and if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button, and also be sure to check out that playlist. Okay, I will see you guys next time.
Dun, 